Welcome to Dates with Danu. Today we are going to have a whale of a time. <laughs> As my first guest on the show, I have someone who is so well accomplished, down to earth, simple and very straightforward. The first time I met her, I just left, I just went home and I cried a little bit. But I'm super happy to have the one and only Dr. Asha Divas. Hi, my name is Dr. Asha Divas. I'm a marine biologist, ocean educator, and founder of Ocean Swell, Sri Lanka's first marine conservation research and education organization here in Sri Lanka. And I'm here for a date with Danu. The first thing you notice about Danu is how loud he is and his laughter. It is absolutely infectious. Um, and I'm here on this show because I'm really interested to see what path he takes us down today. His uh, show usually takes a twist and a turn and I think I might be prepared for it. Welcome back to the show. So we have this lady next to me. You know, I always tell people at the gym, mm. you all may think I'm fat. Mm. You may think I'm overweight. But next to a whale, Asha will say I'm thin. I'm going to argue this, right? Yeah. But the thing is this, uh, it depends on the species. Blue yeah. whales are the largest animal that's, that have ever been on the planet. I'm a blue whale. But they are slender. Humpback whales are the ones that are a little more like... They're know, cuter, right? I mean, you know, just like fuller. I have not seen fuller. them in person, men. In whale, you mean? Yes, in <laughs> whale. <laughs> in whale. You know that I can speak whale huh? by watching Finding Nemo? <laughs> okay, good. Can I speak yeah, to you yes, like that? Yes, please, please. By all means. Oh, oh. I wish it was that easy because then we'd at least understand what these poor whales yeah, are saying. Don't you get it? Don't you get it? <laughs> I, uh, right I learned all about sea life by watching Finding Nemo. That's the amount of exposure I've had in life. Thank you for being here. Actually, you make me feel so dumb. But it's oh not my even God, funny. That's terrible. So let's start off. Why did you leave ladies and just move on to like international educational bodies? Okay, so I did that because I um, wanted to land an A-levels oh, and I at bet. that time I couldn't do it in ladies college. I yeah. will say though 100% this is terrible but uh, if anyone asks what school I went to, I say ladies college. I am but nobody else right in ladies college knows that you went there. Nobody else in ladies college knows you that I went there. You studied only till like O-level, no? I was there till the year after level. Oh, I was really? a prefect, house Oh my I god, everything. Yeah. You, I'm telling you, you would have been, everywhere. I'm telling you, you were one of those people I would have really hated in school. <laughs> no. You know the answer to this question. I know. No, no. <laughs> yeah, no, actually, I never won a single academic prize. Actually, I did the chief get speech at Ladies College mm. in 29, just before COVID. And I said the opening line of my speech was, this is the first time my whole life I have ever stood on this stage on prize giving night. Right, okay. So, not a single academic prize. Sports? Yes, 100%. Yes, 100%. Okay, okay. But it's just the school system didn't work for me. Yeah, that's that, it. Yeah, and look at them. Today, they're running behind you. They're like, oh, oh look at her. Look at her swimming with the whales and all. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, so, then you moved on to London A Levels. And how was that? Was it easy? Because we have, we have an education system that's quite... Mm. What can I say? Different. No, it's not a great education system. Thanks. I will you say, said it the, nicely. you know, of course, yeah. I am a big as an educator. I have huge issues with the education system in this country. I would love for it to be reformed. I think we should be teaching core values and life skills. Correct. As and a also focus. like history of today's yes. time, no? Yes. Like yes. Parakrama has come and yes. gone and like enough. Now we had yeah. a war, we had like corruption, we have had all these type of issues, you know, we should come to that. Absolutely. Now. And even the science, I mean, it can be so much more interesting. I Correct. will tell you, I am a marine biologist. I hated biology at A levels. I, like I was trying to figure out what, I mean, luckily that didn't like put a dent in my plans to become yeah, a marine biologist, you know. Yeah, the only thing I know about biology is this, that shoe flower that you had to draw, cut it into two, then put, saying that this comes and does something here and then they have two babies. <laughs> you know that part, that's the only part <laughs> I, I know. I don't know if flowers are called babies, No, 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 no. Okay. the bees come and sit ah, on yes, each other, yes, yes, not yes. bees, no, somebody no, no. else. I don't ah, know, no, that's for the passion fruit the flower. <laughs> Right, passion for flower. Yeah, right. Okay, clearly you haven't uh, done much. I failed it. No, I failed it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, it's remarkable to know that uh, you have done things that were always a first time in Sri Lanka. And sitting back, do you feel? Do you feel that since you were a child, you have always your my mother gave me books like Radiant Way, and your parents have given you like ah read about the sea now here, read about a whale or two. <laughs> no, I mean, I think more than anything else, my parents, um, I come from a very unorthodox family. Right. Right. No doctors, no lawyers, no engineers, which helps at the start. 
My father's an architect, monument conservator, restores world heritage sites. Super. My mother has a nursing background, but she's not Sri Lankan. Moved here, and lucky for me, she was a dedicated mother. Right. Um, that was a huge thing. But they also said, do what you love and you'll right. do it well. Right. So if we said, you know, I'm interested in this, they'd be like, fine. They would find us. I mean, we spent all our time in the library. Just digging through shelves, looking, you know, like fulfilling our curiosity. And wow. they just supported that. And I think That's that amazing. makes a big difference. That's amazing. Mommy only gave me Radiant Way. Even then, I yeah. sort of kill the queen every day. <laughs> <You're sick. laughs> Sorry about it. Uh, now, uh, let's get on to our second guest. Ah. Someone who celebrates 100 years uh, in an industry that has provided amazing quality uh, jewellery for women and men. Uh, and at the same time, he is... Uh, actually seen as a sweetheart of Colombo <laughs> and his Instagram and Facebook only has space for women <laughs> and not for another man. Let's welcome the one and only Akram. Hi, I'm Akram Kasim, CEO of Colombo Jewelry Stores. I've been adding glamour and sparkle to Sri Lankan society for the past 35 years. I'm here to go on a date with Danu. I first met Danu at Colombo Fashion Week. He was shy and reluctant to speak to me without introduction from Ramali. How things have changed. Now I'm shy and reluctant to speak to Danu. Getting this man on the show just took me four years because why he had high standards. He only wanted Jacqueline or Asha. <laughs> That's about it. Like he just wanted one of them and nobody else. Like in any other man I suggest, yeah, yeah, I'm good with him. But you know, Jacqueline may be a good... It's not like she's living in Piliandra next to me, you know, for me to bring her and come here. Oh, it never happened. So now at last he has got you mm. and a way. Was, was I the second choice? That is the question I, I think you ask. were the second choice. To be fair, I have to be already honest with you. Okay. <laughs> Darling, I'm just not going to say it to you. Uh -huh. You ain't Jacqueline. <laughs> Okay, points, points. <laughs> uh, oh, how God, are you doing? Thanks. Fine and nice to be back on the show. <laughs> I'm super happy to have you here. I think there's a lot of people waiting to see him here. So I really want to ask you, you are a married man. You have a wife, a supportive wife, children and all. <laughs> all this collection of photographs, like, just like, come on girls, let's take a picture. Does it bother anyone? I hope not. It's you have been going home. It really bothers you, but it yeah. <laughs> doesn't bother anyone else. It doesn't bother me. I'm just quite inquisitive, you know, really? how he like <laughs> sus still sustain a family life. <laughs> but it has worked very well. Uh, now, Colombo Jewelry Store has been like a brand that's associated with Sri Lanka for so long. Like, women may have ugly necks, men may have terrible fingers, but the jewelry has always shown it to shine and make them look fabulous, correct? True. Tell me about the beginnings and looking back 100 years from today it started. Where do you see, uh, what do you feel about this brand? Uh, I joined the firm I think 35 years ago and before that I've seen what my grandfather and father used to do. Uh, as a kid I used to go to the store in Fort and my grandfather used to give me little boxes, of mm. box of gems and a box of chocolates. Mm. So that's, that created my interest for gems and jewellery and chocolates. Yeah. <laughs> so I love for all <laughs> have continued. <laughs> Along yeah. with the people and families he's introduced me to. Yeah. So three or four generations still come to the store. Correct. Uh, so brand has grown, developed over the years. It's become fashionable and young as well. Yeah. 100 years, we need to think of a new face as well. Mm. So... That's just in your in your opinion, we have gone through you know I think in my opinion nineties and eighties like where fashion really like took a terrible turn. In terms of jewelry, what's the era where it was just ooh, I'm not I'm just going to melt that down and do something again. Oh, <laughs> uh, I think the best era was nineteen twenties Art mm. Deco period. Mm. Yeah. So fifties also was glamour and fun. Maybe seventies eighties was nothing. The simple and stuff mm. you want to melt down. Yeah, <laughs> even the 90s, those ones like. Yeah, 90s was mixed. I yes, like just. The so fashion keeps coming back, no? It's yeah, a yeah, true. Thing so of 90s the 90s will be back soon. I hope it does to make it. <laughs> make quickly it melt it down, quickly <laughs> melt it down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, Asha, your 
there must be a reason no, that links the two of you. Yeah. Um, there was a collection <laughs> that was done dedicated uh, for us to create more awareness about marine life and also to remember that whatever we do has a repercussion. We are killing what, what our future needs to see. Mm. And that's where the collaboration started. What made you ask, Asha? I had been, I'm a lover of wildlife. I've done a campaign for elephants with Jackie. It was called Unforgettable a Future in the Wild. We've been doing it for some time. You're not clearly looking for resemblance, no? <laughs> <laughs> clearly not. Clearly not. <laughs> <laughs> that is not why you came yeah. to us. <laughs> elephants and whales are different. <laughs> 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 okay, then. Right. So then I was, uh, we did a campaign called Ocean Blues, mm. talking about the beauty of the ocean uh, with Jackie as a physical beauty of the ocean and the country and all that. And then I wanted to do something to save the ocean that was being destroyed and damaged. Mm. And there was no, not many people to look around for. There's just one, one person I that is true. was looking for. <laughs> Difficult to get. Yeah, true. <laughs> Go to her secretary, her, yeah, like her manager. I refused to do all that. Yeah. Wanted to meet her in person. Yeah. And then after a long <laughs> while, she, she thought I'll drop off, but she doesn't know no. me. I'm <laughs> like, like a leech, so yeah. I was there. <laughs> and finally, I got her in to do a campaign called Ocean Blues. Brilliant. Hold the thought. We are going to come back and speak more about it as to why she said yes. Mm. I don't see her wearing mm. anything here. <laughs> uh, we'll see you soon after this. <laughs> Welcome back. So we were at this point where you were somehow reached. Mm. So he got to you mm. and you it was a matter of you agreeing to do it. But where did you, because there are so many people starting projects today. I want to save the whale, the elephant, the dog, the cat, everything. But do they actually end up contributing where it matters is always a question. Mm. What made you say yes to Akram? Mm, that's a really great question. Thanks. Um, sometimes I get it right. <laughs> Just sometimes. <laughs> um, so the key thing is, as Akram said, I did give him the runaround. And it wasn't deliberate. It was more just I was doing my background checks because oh. as you say, a lot of people come and they are like, we want to do a project with you, but we want our staff to be part of the project. We want to do a project with you, but it has to be this, 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 this with all these conditions. It's very difficult because, mm. you know, that means it's curtailing or distracting us from the work that needs to be done. done. And as, as the person in the field, I know what needs to be done. So finally, when <clears throat> Akram got through to me, I agreed, okay, let's go and have a meeting. And, you know, he sort of showed me the kind of stuff they'd done before for Did for he take elephants. a selfie with you on the first day? Not on the first day. Mm. Just, we slowly broke it in the friendship, <laughs> you know. Um, but the thing is, the, what I realized very soon was that Akram wasn't using this, you know, the, more the philanthropic mm. side of things he was doing to market his brand mm. and that's very attractive to me you know uh, because I don't want someone being like oh I work with Ocean Swell therefore I, I mean I think if we have a partnership it's something that should grow it should become a friendship first which I think we have achieved yeah. um, and you know it becomes when it comes to that point of like deep trust then you know the relationship is long term also um, and for me the other thing was also that he said look you know we'll fundraise but uh, you know, you decide how you want to use the money. He didn't tell me, okay, you must do this, 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 mm. which is really important because conservation funding is very hard to come by. Correct. Right? This planet is falling apart. We all need this planet, but somehow nobody thinks it's important to help to fund the people who are actually making a difference on mm. the ground. Have you always been someone who has loved the nature? I know you love photography. Yeah, I've always loved nature as a child. I think my father inculcated that in me. He used to take us to Yala when you sleep on these bunk beds, no lights, stuff mm. like that. Most you of must the be very used to power cuts now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was trained yeah. as a child. Trained as a child, yeah. <laughs> but can't find the kerosene lamp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, but uh, this collaboration, what has been your biggest reward out of this collaboration for you? No, meeting Asha, getting to know her, that was one good plus point of my life. Mm. I need to add her on. No right no answer. answer. <laughs> Good choice. And uh, also creating these pendants that people are craving to wear, not because it's a piece of jewelry, but for the cause. Cause yeah. behind it. So we've it, done, three, I think we're doing a new one, which is also limited to 100 pieces because of our 100th year. And then we'll come up with some permanent collection. I think we're working on where people, more people can buy and enjoy wearing and also contribute to wildlife 
or marine conservation yeah. with Asha. That's amazing. All right, I must tell you where I first met Asha. She has still, she still can't remember. And I told you I went home and cried a little bit. <laughs> I cried myself to sleep. But I'm going to tell you where I met her mm. and when I met her mm. and what she was wearing when oh. we do come back. But right now, Scary. it's time to get into hot seat. Sorry, I have to just share. No, it's so, disgusting. So, uh, so Asha is like, can you see that I do my skin routine? And then Agrim is like, yeah, the sea salt can solve everything, no? <laughs> but then rashes and all people used to go and wash themselves he, in the sea. He is everything. Yeah, I so, know. But I don't have a rash. I don't have a rash, everyone, <laughs> just to be clear. Now, if you go, you'll get a rash. Then. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> that is yeah, but uh, that's another point. All right, are you guys ready? No. <laughs> you guys are competing for this gift bag that is going to give you all a brand new look and feel to your skin, body and Can't mind. Can't we just do a arm wrestling thing? <laughs> no. Okay. No. Talking about no. arms, you know, everything here does not add up to the value of Akram's <laughs> just this two inches here. <laughs> His watch alone can can be valued more than all of us. All your education is nothing next to that. <laughs> Maybe if I had that, I could have paid for my education. <laughs> and not a vein is going to be as, as big as that. So yeah, show that, you know, show that. You know, both of us are wearing watches. Shall we share that information? Oh, okay, <laughs> we share okay. the information. So both of us are wearing watches that does not tell the correct time. Mine is stuck at 5.40. Yours is? Uh, 5.07, battery's dead. Yeah, mine is I also I should get right. it replaced. Yeah. I know that. I can it's do like, that. It's like, I just wear this just for the look. People yeah. who know me know that I just wear it. Just for it to look nice in photographs. <laughs> Nobody is going to check. No. All right, ready? I'll start with Akram. Mm, good. All right, dear. Where dear? Asha Otara Jackali, who out of the oh. above would you re-sign to represent Colombo Jewelry? I'm if here. you could, wait. <laughs> oh my god, awkward. Or I, who's your favorite? I'm out of looking the three? for a new face for Colombo Jewelry, so to re-sign at hundred. You are kicking Jackali in a way. <laughs> She doesn't watch the show, but anyway. Also, I love his diplomacy, yeah? <laughs> yeah. FYI. But who is your favorite out of the three? Oh my god. You can honestly tell me it's okay. She is not going to get offended. <laughs> Jacqueline is a favorite. Fail, Mama. No. I'm to, off this show. Not to do much. She's been there for 11 years. Yeah. Archer's been there for. It's okay, man. It's okay. Three, I'm four. I'm just still young, five. no? Yeah. That's the thing. I'm getting a younger face for the brand, so. <laughs> Ooh. He just called Jacqueline old. <laughs> younger face. <laughs> you know, we are there. <coughs> <laughs> <laughs> All right. If you had to sign up a male ambassador for your brand, who would you pick and who would you not pick from the following? Shalin Balasuria, Danu Inastambi, Banu Rajapaksa, Sanat Jayasuria. I would pick Sanat Jayasuria. I wouldn't pick Danu in Sarsapi. You know, this is not definitely not the answer we were expecting. No, but you asked. You asked me. You want to stand? Ah, Sanat so is my favorite cricketer. You threw yourself so under the bus there. So Sanat is a very good. He's just not picking me. So there's. Mm. Yeah. Describe the following people in one word: Arjun Aloysius. Don't know. Jacqueline Fernandez. Gorgeous. Johani. Sensational. Kasuri Chaudharaj. Fit. Asha Divos. Marine biologist. <laughs> That's too much. No, there's nothing there apart from that. Nothing, I'm just a marine biologist. Just, you could have said fit too. Uh, Can't no answer to fit for. <laughs> if you have the power to pick a president, who would it be and why? Internationally, maybe Angela Merkel. We'll bring her back here. She retired in Germany. Make her the president here. She'll revive our situation, I hope. That's a nice way to think of it. Mm. Who wears your jewelry best? Just name one person. Ooh. Ramali. <laughs> Thrown under the bus. <laughs> <laughs> Ramali, which you are done. Well done. All right. Asha, t <coughs> to you. Mm, gosh. Who, in your op op opinion, mm. embodied the Columbus Jewelry Store brand better? Otara, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Sing for Tara. Who no, is, no, but she, no, no. Jacqueline represented who, the brand. Yeah, yeah, no? true. What is your opinion on the people who claim to be 
environmental advocates or activists? Um, I think there's a lot of those people around. Um, I think there's a difference between advocacy and activism. Advocacy usually has a scientific basis to it. Um, activism is an emotional thing. Um, I do have issues when people get overly emotional when there is a marine disaster or something because then there's a lot of misinformation that goes out and that's really, really not a good thing. Um, but I think we, there's room for everyone, but we just have to be careful about how we're, what messages we're presenting to the public um, to get them on board to try to solve the problems that we face. Brilliant. If you had to choose between swimming with the whales or spending time with your family and you could only choose one activity at this one particular time, which one would it be? I'll spend time with my family. Describe your perfect man. Okay. Clearly he doesn't exist, which is why <laughs> I'm <laughs> alone. Yeah. But you have checked <laughs> earth and also the sea. Yeah, that's right. It's just not there. I mean, you know, fundamentally time when I was young, space. Yeah, yeah, space. that's the only place. I think when I was young, I wanted someone who's adventurous, you know, intellectual, yeah, like witty, um, just easy going. But I think now as I've grown and I've seen sort of the, um, a lot of bad relationships, I think I would settle for a good human being. Mm. I think more than anything else, I think especially for women in this country, there is so much abuse that no one talks about. Um, and there are these wonderful men we'll meet who are adventurous and athletic and intellectual, but they're just not good people. Mm. And I think in the end... Um, you just want just, a fundamental person I just who's want a, good. Yeah, a good person like who's caring, thought. loving, you know, family oriented, likes doing fun stuff, but also just also supportive. You know, in my career, yeah, I like that you're pointing at Akram, but yes. I feel like I, I want someone who respects me for who I am and what I have achieved and what I can do for the world. And Do you feel men are you know? intimidated by you? I mean, I, I, the only reason I'm saying yes is because a lot of men have told me they're intimidated by me. Me too. So. <laughs> Fair <laughs> enough. I'm glad there's this distance yeah. between us. <laughs> if not marine biology, which other field would you be passionate about? Great question. I've never had a moment to... Second time around. I am... Yes, you're really good at this. You mm. should do this as a job. But... Um, That's what you do. I, <laughs> I, um, I've never had to consider an alternative job mm. because from the young age, I've always wanted to do this and I've just focused and just gone down this path. But I'm really passionate about sports. Um, so I think that would be an area that I would definitely... Yeah, but you would have gotten into. to sports and like represented for Olympics and done... Like you would have just gone all the way, you know? Like, yeah, because I'm just perfectly built, you know, yeah. with my very long yeah. physique yes. and all. All right. Uh, we're going to speak more. Uh, can we speak more? Yeah, no, we can. Yes. Charlie, are we going to break? Oh, okay, let's get into a break. We'll see you on the other side. Do stick around. It's a date with us. So where did I meet Asha first? It was at Golfist Hotel. It was oh, near yes. the checkerboard mm, I don't and know. you're wearing a blue uh, t-shirt, short arms, uh, jeans uh, and uh, you just completely like spoke some big words and completely <laughs> shut me up <laughs> for good. <laughs> I thought this woman must be quite a rude one. Uh, then I wanted to quickly speak well to you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you might understand. And then that. broke the ice, is it? No, nothing no, happened. No, nothing. We okay. just went with the big ice cube. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> then I, of course, met you and I figured out who you are, like uh, how kind you are. It's just that your please. outer appearance is just very like. <laughs> you won't be the first person to say that. When I walk like, on the road, <laughs> huh? no, when I walk on the road, my friends are like, "You look like you're walking. You're going for a well, fight. Yeah, you're, you're going, going to, to murder walk. someone." But have to focus. Now. Yeah, but focus on. But you what? get catcalled and all other. Yeah, that is true. Just smile that. and go. But I remember meeting you there. Yeah, good. You were wearing. Were you wearing like a don't Hawaiian just printed lie. shirt? <laughs> no, <laughs> just no, don't no, no. Just like. Uh, no, just admit it. But but. It was like a printed shirt, like a Hawaiian shirt. No. It had some green on it. No. Okay. I remember seeing. Uh, Wrong I person. remember, I'll tell you how I, you put into my phone, Danu the sweet one. Now when you call me, I know how to, that I can avoid you because that's what comes. <laughs> <laughs> At least I'm honest. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> uh, so Akram, you have been a part of uh, revolutionizing a jewelry brand. Like we would, have, we would have always seen a jewelry brand being worn as a accompaniment to an outfit. Mm. But you made that the focus mm. point. Yeah. How did you create that? Because I'm sure when your grandfather, when your father was running it, they never thought of it that way. But what made you think different? I don't know. Jewelry, I always looked at as a work of art. So 
and women need to look glamorous. Every day you need to look good. So, I thought of new ideas, new creations and how to make it fun and wearable. It shouldn't be put in a bank locker and kept. Yes. It should be something that you enjoy wearing, something big, something bold, yeah. something beautiful. Jewelry yeah. should make you look wow. A CJ's yeah. jewelry when you wear should make you look wow. Yeah. And in terms of designing, you have gone through different types of collections, collection inspired by all types of things. Yeah. And uh, there was even a horseshoe. Yeah, horse was one of my horse was yeah. one of your collect I ho I'm so happy you didn't get an ambassador for it. <laughs> oh, she reminded me of a horse, man. <laughs> 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 he doesn't go for resemblances yeah. no. <laughs> no. Uh, so uh, I can think of a few options but <laughs> no I'm not going to say it. but anyway tell me now even that you know we would have just expected like a normal horseshoe to be just plugged in, and that's one design but you thought so many different versions and you had models on the ramp at Colombo Fashion Week showcasing yeah. only that and people were able to see that alone yeah Tell me about it. And no, I think branding to me is a whole package. It's not just a piece of jewelry. It should be thought of as what what the campaign is all about. You know, the marketing is more about not only the jewelry but the whole setup. Mm. You know, this horse thing was actually going back in history. My grandfather loved horses, and he had like 17 race horses. He had race trophies. He had a watch mm. that had a horse. His favorite horse was uh, in painted on a watch by a Swiss watch company, mm. which he, which I still have. So that was the inspiration for that horse campaign. Jackie actually wore that watch when she rode in on a horse at, at, oh, wow. at Park in Street Mews. Oh, okay. uh, she rode in on the horse for the launch. And the campaign goes back. I mean, I always look at history and try to take history forward or find a concept and take that forward. So for 100 years, we have not launched the con It will be launched in the next few days. To the Century Collection. Yeah, Century Collection. We've gone back to someone I admire, one of the leading architects of Sri Lanka, I think, Jeffrey Bhava and his country estate, Lunuganga. Mm. So that was the setting for 100 years, which That's will be launched in the next few days. Amazing. I can't wait to see it. Um, I have to announce a winner, no? To be very honest, I, like, I, I loved Akram's honesty. Yeah, that's fair enough. Yeah. Uh, but you can give just her the give gift. it to him. It's okay. No, I'll just, so. I, but you know what? You I'll put just, it in the middle and let us fight. I'll just give. No, that I can't. Me. I mean, she's faster than. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She'll just take it and run and swim <laughs> at the same time. She'll be in India saying hi. <laughs> it's okay. I'm just going to give the two of you. But in the meantime, I'll just wipe this bag a little bit. I think it has collected some dust by sitting yes. here. Uh, let's get into another segment that we call Yes or No. So we are going to play this very simple game, you either say yes or no. Mm. But we don't need to speak it, but if you have to elaborate, please go ahead and do mm. it. Have you ever taken money from your partner's wallet, for you, from your parents' wallet maybe, without them noticing? Mm. Your parents? They'll, oh. ask, they'll give me if you want. <laughs> uh, oh. As a child I took so. Maybe. I Have your caught. parents ever caught you? in public with your crush, which they didn't know about. I just, by oh, default, boring, I just didn't have any money. <laughs> I just don't <laughs> have boring. any. That's the thing. Boring. These are for teenagers. Have okay. you ever shoplifted? I have, jujubes once. Oh. It was a dare, small packet. Mm, still counts as shoplifting. I mean, it was just like, it was a small, mm. it was a dare at school. Can be a small diamond or something. Yeah. <laughs> no. You better be careful when Danu comes to the shop. Man, just if, Danu, a small if you go to the packet. shop, he's going to be double watching now. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever binge watch a Netflix series? Yes. Would you betray a friend for a million dollars? Oh, you seem indecisive. I will. Just give me the million dollars, I'll give half and make friends with Who them again. This? They won't be friends with you after that. No, no, no. I will find another way. Uh. And another friend. Especially. <laughs> Basically. Especially these days when we can do with a million dollars, man. Not with a friend. Don't change. <laughs> Before they change it. Into yes. <laughs> if you could know what the other person is really thinking about you, would you like to have that feature? <laughs> if you could find out uh, how you were dying, would you like to know? 
No. I, no. I just want to know whether I'm, it's going to be tragic. I would like to be beautiful there. But you can't prepare yourself if it's tragic. So what's the point of yeah, knowing? You're going to, no, you're no, going to be traumatized. You're going to fall on your head now. Yeah. Are going to exactly. Doing all this stuff. <laughs> And you're not going to care after you're dead with your beautiful or You not. never know. My that's ghost so could be as dramatic as I <laughs> That's true. Uh, if you could gain a magical power, what uh, would you would you lose an ability that you have for you to gain that magical power? Depends on the magical power. Any magical power that you want to. Mm. Okay. If okay. you can be invisible, would yeah, you invisible lose? Invisible is the only one I was thinking. <laughs> like Harry Potter's. No, I would like to be invisible just to perv on people a little bit. Yeah, okay, that's I would like to be invisible. Really? If you... <laughs> just to walk around and do what you want without anyone knowing what... Just really knock this coffee mug that. off, like just... Yeah. yeah. When <laughs> you're Harry swimming, Potter just to like come on top of you and be like, hi. <laughs> no, Harry Potter's film film uh, motivated. Inspired, yeah. inspired you. If you could time travel, would you like to unmeet a certain or few people? Have your friends ever seen compromising photos of you? I don't have any. God. I'm really boring, basically. Yeah, and let's just speak about great. something that you're good at. You have gone to like so many universities. So you studied here, then you did your London University, then you went to London. Uh, I went to Scotland. Scotland. Went to Australia, I went to St. Andrews. Andrews. You went to Maldives. Then I went to Oxford. Then I went to the University of Western Australia. Then I worked at the University of California, Santa Cruz. I just wanted to, you know, go out. And check all the, the universities most. out. Well, also, you know, um, I wanted to create networks. I wanted to take as much as I could because I was always coming home. And I wanted to be so skilled that I could actually bring something back. So that when I was serving, I could do it at the best capacity. Mm, possible. And that was Fantastic. really important that's to me. That's brilliant. And that's nice to know so. that. Let's get into a break. Yeah. We'll see you after. This is good. Asha for president. Now, let's dish some dirt. So I'm going to start with Akram. What's the true reason as to why you're looking out for a new face for Columbo Jewelry Store? Is it the controversy that came along with Jacqueline and the money and the person spending all that money and giving money to no, the No, I'm not uh, bo okay, bothered about all that. I think the brand is 100 years old. We need to look, we are not ditching Jackie, but we, are, we need to add, keep adding new faces to take the brand forward. It's 100 years. We don't want a brand that is just stuck in time. We need something going forward to do new things, new vision. So that's why there will be additional phase. It won't be a, that we're ditching Ditch. anyone. Right. All are part of the history and heritage of the brand and all will go forward as part I of the history. just ask that so. <laughs> now, in terms of uh, designs in our country, there's always this problem copying. Everyone is fighting over something or the other and we have such a small country. And even if you do take fashion week, yeah. there's always somebody trying to kill someone saying that that's a design I showed last time. Whereas then they have taken inspiration is more of a copy paste. Yeah. But at a situation like this, how do you tend to maintain your place and at the same time not actually go out there and like do a protest? Actually, as a policy, I don't copy other brands, even foreign brands. A lot of people who come to make something and bring something, I don't copy. That has been my policy for the last 30 years. I think my father also did the same thing. So When others tend to copy you? I ignore it. Because I don't focus on what others are doing to me. I focus on what I can do and how I can keep improving and producing new stuff. I just let that go. Let them copy. Let them do what they want. But I'll keep doing new things and adding new lines or new collections or new ideas. That's how I see life, I mean, everybody can copy or do it, but if you focus on what you can do best, that's the way to go. Uh, the real, one of the biggest reasons for Yohani's reach on a global stage comes from you. Kind of true? I don't know. <laughs> she, she performed, she succeeded. Yeah, but you really did help. and Yeah, I helped her yeah. to go forward. But like, that's my We don't find people like that who is yeah. willing to create a connection, a connection that can open doors. Yeah. Uh, 
as as someone who has been in the industry for so long and seen so much of talent that has passed you by, yeah. what do you feel that's missing for us to create more Yohannis? I think you shouldn't try to create more Yohani. You you should try to create more of each one the individual. Yeah, correct. I'm the problem here is just because Yohani is succeeding, people get jealous. That's the first thing that happens mm. in Sri Lanka, which I think is crazy. Once jealousy gets into you, then you, you can't grow. Yeah. So each one of you created your own mark and moved along. Like that, I think there's so many, a so lot of talent in Sri Lanka which can move forward and go forward in whatever they are doing without trying to copy Yohani. Hmm. So just be, Yohani is successful because she's done an amazing job with and her she music reached, and her style. Yeah, and hmm. she reached a place where it was Akram just opening one door. Hmm. You can't just go there and say, just open all the doors for me. No, no, because you've got to work hard. Yeah. If you don't work hard, you don't succeed. Correct. All of us, I mean, Asha works hard, I work hard. People just think I just sit in the shop and do <laughs> nothing. <laughs> That's the image I've got. But he, it's he's amazing going all over, traveling here, doing nothing and everything but is moving. But what I'm grateful for is the fact that you were willing to show and create an opportunity for people to go beyond what they have reached. Mm. And that's something that I would like to say thank you because I don't think a lot of people know that part. So I wanted to acknowledge you for that. No, I think we should try to help whoever we can in whatever Definitely. way I can. That's how I see life and that's how my father, my grandfather all have seen, put whatever values into us to help people to go forward and not be jealous of anyone. Mm. That's amazing. Uh, now, let's come to you. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you being a very outspoken person and also someone who has reported onto such global news platforms about Sri Lanka, in terms of the area that you are given, mm -hmm. have you been approached by political figures saying, just shut up? Um, yes, so I think uh, one of the things I do well, I would say, is that I'm Creating very problems. good. <laughs> no, I'm okay. very good at recognizing what my area of expertise is and sort of saying that lane. So I was on a, you know, especially with this Express Pearl, for example, yeah. I, had, I did uh, 40 interviews with every single news outlet you can imagine in two days, right? Mm. Um, because everyone recommended they come to me. Um, some of them try, and before the interview, I would say, I, I will talk about environmental issues, I can talk about this. Some of them tried to trip me up on live TV, asking me, you know, political questions. But I would always reel it in and say, okay, look, I, I can't answer that. I can only stay in my, my lane uh, because this is my expertise. Um, I'm sure there are people out there who don't always appreciate the truth uh, when I say it. Uh, but I can't worry about that. You know, I, I was born to make a difference. I believe very strongly in the role that I play, particularly in this country. Um, and I think I have a responsibility to my nation uh, mm. to do the right thing, to say the right thing and to be honest with what I'm saying. So um, if there are people who don't like me for it, then I can't do anything about it, to be honest. Would you ever consider being the Minister of Environment? Uh, I Have you spoken to the Minister of Environment? I, I mean, I do uh, actually advise a lot of ministers um, pro bono um, because if they have questions related to my field, I'm usually a person that they'll pick up a phone and call. Recently, they asked um, me for your number, a uh, bunch of politicians. Right, yeah. yes. So it happens, uh, definitely. I don't think I want to go into politics. It's not my space. I think um, I love science and I just love the freedom that comes with the kind of work I do. I love creating opportunities for people. I think there's, I don't like getting caught up in red tape and bureaucracy because I think it slows down the amazing work that can be done on the ground. I like doing work independently. Um, it's very objective. It's trying to solve a problem. I'm not influenced by anything or anyone or any particular view. Uh, and that's how I'd like to continue working. You're too smart for politics. They're looking out for someone a bit less educated. <laughs> I think that's what they're trying to get at. We so need yeah. educated people. Yeah, but no can't them. because now we have a, a cut-off age, a cut-off uh, education system. No, that if you have studied beyond that, you are not qualified. <laughs> <laughs> Just not qualified beyond that. Uh, we're getting into our final segment after this break, so do stick around. It's day to day. We did some digging out of two very clean profiles <laughs> and I want to speak about these amazing memories that they have shared on their social media. We'll start off with this. How cute is this picture? <laughs> sweet. So sweet. Tell me about your better half. You pass it. Yeah. This picture was taken actually when we were celebrating. <gasps> they are here with us. 
<laughs> this picture was actually taken by Stephanie Sirivall. Uh. We were seated upstairs in my office uh, for this 100 days to 100 uh. year campaign and then I said let's get a photo of the three of us before we go down and meet the press and meet everyone else. Mm. So Shamila has been supportive of me for the past, I've been of married course. for 34 years I think. Mm -hmm. So we lived a happy life, we've grown together, we've enjoyed doing things together. She's mm. been my bouncing board for all my ideas and, so and campaigns. So that light hearted, and so yeah. fun, the two of you all can crack yeah. up and enjoy a moment especially yeah. and that's really nice. Yeah, yeah. And now Hana as well, so yeah. I throw ideas into her too much but <laughs> That's the way I am. Every yeah. morning they get a good dose of <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> <laughs> what I want to do, I want to do this, that, or the other. But that's the way. That's amazing. Uh, what is this? I can't see. I don't know. Ah, yes. Yes. I know it's like a moment that you really enjoy. No, what is that? Uh, that's a heart. Right? This is a blue whale heart. It's yeah. the only. It's actual heart. Like they that. basically plastinated it. And uh, it's the only one in the world. And I was, um, I spoke at this exhibit, the launch in the, at the Royal Ontario Museum in Toronto. And I got to stand next to it. And the cool thing is, I'm five foot three, but you can see now the scale mm. how big the blue whale heart is. Yeah, that's true. That's an Maybe, awesome picture. Yeah. What an honor it was. Yeah, true. It but what happened like to the rest of the hearts? So, the only one heart? No. Yeah, no. Uh, no, so the animal, what they did was the that for the exhibit. The heart when they took the heart out. <laughs> for the exhibit, they actually and Ah, that's cute. <laughs> Your mom made that dress. Uh, correct. And uh, I want everyone to focus on the side swipe. It is a Princess Diana hair. Oh, Please right. Okay. Okay. I don't know why. But yes, I was like probably Like those days, mom, moms used to make Diana dresses, no? Yeah. Five or six years old. Um, My mom yeah. used to make those dresses Long as well. Long time ago. <laughs> A-line dresses is what oh, they wow. called it. coming is the next one. Yeah, I don't know. Nervous. Ah, yeah. Sweet. How are you looking sharp and all that? This is the one with the hair. <laughs> 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 this is my homecoming, 1988. Uh, with my dad, who was my inspiration in m most of my life. And I was just chatting to Asha while at Ramani. This is the second time I went to Ramani. She just blew, <laughs> flat my hair because <laughs> it was looking rowdy and uncool. Uh, this is the second time, after 1988? Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Big occasion. Great. Yeah, for sure. Uh, please explain this to me. Are you into tree? <laughs> are you into tree hugging? No. So okay. So this is a random picture in a place called Hiare in Gaul district, and I. This is eight years apart. Ah, right. So you know, I went back and I took this picture, and I just want to see the same if I look. Tree? It's the exact same tree, and I also look uh, basically the same, which uh, made me feel very happy. Now don't Actually, answer. Actually, you look question. fitter on this yeah, side. Yeah, that's because I probably am. Yeah, so you're younger on this side or older on this younger side? Younger on this side. That is what. Yeah. I think this only the tree has to really work hard. Right? Yeah, that's so right. <laughs> <seen. laughs> yeah. Just so the just the tree. And who are these people? Okay. So this is my birthday. I think it was my uh, fifth or sixth birthday at the zoo. At the zoo. Um, ah. we are holding Smarties uh, tubes. Ani because it was best. such a thrill. Yeah. My Still parents. Still the thrill. Yeah. Here, yeah, hello, we are no. coming back to that time again. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> that Smarties. <laughs> because <laughs> <the> Smarties <laughs> were so at that time. Now yeah. I'm just preparing the audience for yeah. now. But my parents had made loot bags, it's smart. Yeah. And we walked around holding these for yeah, people to course. see. But I will say these are still my friends. That's my brother actually. Mm. Um, sadly, my friend here, she passed away from cancer a couple of years ago. This Aww. is my other friend from school. So we like, you know, grew up grew, together. Yeah. And holding those just, smarties just together. Just clinging onto, onto those, those smarties. smarties. And I'm telling you, smarties oh really gosh. bring so much of smile, yeah. Yeah. joy yeah. to us. Like I remember With one birthday in Jaffna, it for my sixth birthday, my mum did a Smarties cake, oh. but there were no Smarties in Jaffna, so she found something like Smarties. You tasted like pull, <laughs> but, <laughs> but, but the, the look of it was yeah. nice. Yeah. I have the cake still. I have to before I cut the cake, I had to tilt this dish that will just spill the I Smarties see. all over. So I've always, we, have, we all have memories with Smarties. Cute, yeah. So cute. What an iconic <laughs> photograph. I see it. I Look don't know at how you like a cheese ball on yeah, the side. I know. <laughs> so cute. This photo was at my dad's house so when I grew up. So I don't know when it was taken or how old I was. You really Must are not be. happy to be in that picture. You look like yeah, yeah. Oh. Let's see if you would like, <laughs> bribe me with a chocolate. <laughs> yes. Is this in a studio? No, uh, no, no. It's in a house Outdoor. because oh. this probably in Colombo, their house or there's a little stool that Sweet. that yeah. is still there in the super cute. <laughs> and <laughs> the final photo. 
the greatest people on this planet. I will say that everything I am today is because of everything they've given me. Most of all, the freedom and courage to choose my own path. And I think that's a yeah. gift that a lot of people don't get in Correct. life. Um, I'm very grateful to them. We fight. I want everyone to know this because people think I have this smooth sailing relationship. I have argued with them. I fight with yeah, them. Yeah, your mouth I can imagine. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't met my family. Actually, my father's really quiet. I get my Fights boisterousness from, from my mom. I, I can see but the, the strong-headedness from my dad. Right. Um, but you know, like. But they must be so ultra proud of you. I'm, mm. I hope so. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. at the end of the day, I think that that they are all that matters in the world. So. Uh, in the good times and bad times. My dad is a multi-award winning architect, just so down to earth. Everything I've learned, if you think I'm down to earth, you know, like I've learned it all from my parents who have always You're told me. You're a little me, bit down to earth. He must be really down to earth. <laughs> <laughs> yes. But yeah, I'm really grateful and I'm really lucky to have spent, um, you know, all these years. I get to spend a lot of time with them and I really enjoy it. I'm very, very lucky. Very Brilliant. Lucky. And that's wonderful. Uh, thank you guys for being on the show. Uh, Akram, I've uh, I have seen you out and about in Colombo always uh, with a happy smile, sometimes alone, sometimes with family, sometimes with girls. <laughs> but uh, more than anything, I think beyond such, a, such an exclusive brand to, uh, to what a person you are and the people who you associate with uh, next to them, like we are just like dust on the wall, but yet you still take the time to talk to me, make me feel special and that's very rare. And, Telling you, Colombo can be a very ruthless place, and in midst of all of that, to find kind people like you who will give the time of day to people who don't come from these circles, who may, who you may be known to. Uh, thank you. That simplicity is what makes you who you are, and I'm uh, grateful and I'm so happy that you came on this show. And I think uh, you did a great job picking her <laughs> as your choice. <laughs> thank you, um, Asha. This is actually an honor to have had you. Uh, more you. than anything, what you have achieved in such a such a short time. Uh, you have done so much, created such amount of credit for our country, not only for you. Um, I'm so happy and I really hope that the, the big blue ocean always remains blue and big and full of life, at least for the amount of work that you have done. And uh, thanks. Thank I'm so, so humbled much. that both of you made it on the show. Uh, so on that note, we are going to wrap things up. Uh, thank you for joining us today on Date with Danu with these remarkable people. We'll see you soon with another cool episode of the show. Till then, you keep smiling. It's a wrap.